Hey guys, Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. I am here to do a love reading for you guys for the sign of Aries. And uh, Aries, before we get started, we're going to clear all negative energies. If you do have sensitivity to loud noises, I would suggest turning down your volume as well as if you're wearing headphones. So let's get started. Let's get into your reading, Aries. Remember that messages may or may not resonate during the reading. Keep the ones that resonate. Leave the ones that don't. Otherwise, you'll get confused. And cards in the reverse, they come in upside down. I read intuitively, and I'll provide you the messages from Spirit Guides. Oh, boy, oh, boy. You got the same one as Leo. So we've got the raccoon inventor called them the little bandits. Perhaps you guys are bandits together. We've got to decide what you really want. Uh, you have the ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roles. You can juggle them well. Love it. Okay, well, there you go. So uh, now we're going to pull some romance angel oracle messages for you guys. Messages for the sign of Aries, please, spirit guides. Message for Aries. We've got separation. Well, I mean, we've got separation, time apart from your uh, partners on the horizon, and then you've got work on your partnership, give your relationship a chance. Some of you guys could be on the verge of separation or, you know, if you want to save your relationship, you know, you communication, sharing your feelings and your your um, likes, dislikes, your your, um, you know, your sometimes uh, your darkest, deepest secrets, you know. Um, and uh, I mean, sometimes somebody does something that is unforgivable which could be the situation here um, because I can hear somebody yelling, yeah, but what they did, I can never forgive. We've got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I feel like you could be starting a new relationship and uh, it's going to be uh, really uh, fiery from probably right off the bat. Okay, so let's uh, see what we've got for uh, your spiritual AF message. Spiritual AF message, please, for Aries. Okay. We've got um, shit you don't have time for, other people's crap, crazy crap, bull crap, stupid crap, fake crap, crap that has nothing to do with you. Sorry, I had to change that word because I don't think I'm allowed to say the... Uh, the other one over and over and over again. <laughs> Once you drop that kind of uh, bullshitty shit, you'll have a whole lot more hours in the day to do some awesome stuff. Uh, find stuff to do that vibes with your soul. Stuff that's not negative uh, with no negative consequences. Uh, stuff that makes you say, oh, hell yes. Uh, maybe even do some of that that benefits the world in some way. You have the time... For the uh, yeah, chip. <laughs> okay, there you go. So uh, make some time for the important things in your life. Uh, now we're going to roll the dice. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including four wild. I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. Could end up being your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, really. Whatever helps you identify who it is you could be dealing with, okay? First letter Aries is W. So we've got Will, William, Winona, Warren, Wes, Wesley. We have M. So we've got Mary, Miriam, Marianne. Marlene, McKenna, Mackenzie, Michael, Mike, 
Mark, Marcus, Melvin, and we've got S, we've got Sam, Samuel, Samantha, Sabrina, Selena, Steve, we've got F, so we've got Frank, Fred, Fabio, Fabiola, Fiona, and we've got J, so we've got Jamie, James, John, Jonathan, Jared, Julie, Justin, Justine, Jackie, Jacqueline, so we've got J, F, S, M, and W. So let's get into your reading, Aries. And remember, my readings are timeless. This could have happened already, could be happening right now, or could happen in your future. So just to keep that in mind during the reading as well, vice versa could happen. I could say this is you. You feel like your person's here and you're over there, and that works just fine. So let's get started, Aries. Three of Swords. That's a very interesting three of swords. It looks like you're wrapping all your wounds into one big package. Mmm. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny, Fate, Divine Timing. Is that work in your life? Sounds good. And uh, got the Eight of Cups, needing to let go of emotional baggage that you no longer need in your life. You don't need to carry this anymore. You need to, like, let it go. Let it go. See, it says uh, stuff you don't have time for. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, this uh, emotional baggage you're carrying. <laughs> and if uh, you uh, work on that, look at that. Ten of cups. This is a happily ever after the end energy. Like, those cups are, like, blazing lights through one another back and forth. It's like a never-ending energy here that, that's, I feel like something that would be uh, very desirable. And, well, 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 I've got the Page of Cups, the Daughter of Cups. You've got a lot of love to give, like a lot of love to give. And I feel like perhaps maybe you do have a secret admirer here, too. Let's uh, clarify. This is the... Uh, French uh, deck that I have here, and it's called uh, Le Tarot Interdit Vampira. So if uh, you guys like it and you want the link, I'll uh, send it to you. It is on Amazon, but I haven't uh, used this deck like too many times. I save it for Halloween, so uh, I'm not sure if they still sell it, but uh, I can uh, send you the, the title of it at least. So the Three of Swords, Aries. Verify that Three of Swords. And there's Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Energy in this deck. That's why it's so thick. So it gives us a better picture, clearer picture of uh, what's going on here. La Tour Astronomique. The uh, as Astronomical Tower. I've got the tower. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I feel like... Maybe perhaps you had one tower moment after another, and uh, you're just like, what the hell is this? Like, why do I have to deal with this? Oh, uh, well, huit de pieux. Eight of, uh, eight of wands. And this is, uh, something happened really, really quick. Like, I feel like it just came out of nowhere, right? The tower, the eight of wands is an energy that uh, moves very, very quickly. So I feel like this tower moment, perhaps this last one, came out of nowhere and was like the icing on the cake for you. Oh, we've got Commandant de Pieu. Commandant de Pieu is the queen of wands, you. Okay, Aries, this is you, your energy, and I feel like you're taking back your power. And uh, I don't blame you. I feel like you know you can conquer anything, Aries. And that is your energy. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you've just got a commanding presence about you. When you are in the right energies. Not when you're in the uh, self, uh, you know, uh, wounded victim uh, energies, right? Set de miroir. Seven of cups. Seven of mirrors. Confusion, worry, wondering what direction to go in. Really being confused. Quatre de miroir, four of cups, yeah. Too much disappointment in your life. And I feel like that's what you hold on to a lot of, is all the disappointment you've uh, dealt with in your life. Éclaireuse de miroir. This is the uh, page of cups. And, uh, sorry, no, the queen of cups, I'll be all right. And uh, Eclaireuse, like you are, you're finally seeing the light, okay? You're finally seeing 
that um, you have a lot of love to give, but you um, haven't been uh, really able to give it to the right person because you haven't met them yet. This is like sounding a lot like the uh, Leo reading I did, and you guys have the same Spirit of the Animal Oracle. I don't know. We're going to find out here. So we've got the Eight of Cups. We're clarifying next. <laughs> Laos de Miroir, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Mirrors. There's going to be a new beginning here. And uh, I mean, look, I feel like you've been dealing with false self masks. I mean, look at that. That that reflection is is removing the mask. So perhaps you are finally letting go of people who have betrayed you and uh, allow a new beginning in. Come on, Don DP. So we've got the um, Knight of Swords. Uh, you feel like the, the, you've dealt with so many narcissistic energies here. I mean, look, that person's like almost getting their head chopped off. Just give it a couple minutes, right? Mmm, so I feel like uh, you just realize you don't want that kind of an energy in your life, right? This, the miroir, the ten of mirrors, ten of cups. You want happily ever after, and look, next is the ten of cups. So I feel like you are trying to move away from this kind of energy. You're trying to let go of what transpired, perhaps. And we've got trois d'argent, the three of pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. And we've got uh, Cavalier d'Epée. Wow, okay, so this is the uh, feminine energy of the uh, Knight of Swords. Uh, and uh, definitely getting that... Um, you're dealing with somebody who is um, always in a hurry, always in a hurry. I feel like this person is somebody who doesn't want to let you go. Okay, I feel like perhaps this person... I, I hear I own you for some reason, and that that's that's terrible. I, I don't know why I'm hearing that. And then I hear you don't own me. Mmm, you don't own me. Two of Pentacles, deux d'argent. It's like... You're not sure if this person is, uh, you know... Wanting to even, you know, do anything about this, okay? I just, I feel like this person feels like they, they, um, they missed out. They missed out on you and, uh, they, they realize that this is their fault. Perhaps they see you going to get your Ten of Cups and they wish it was with them. So, uh, Page of Cups, Laos de Pieu. Uh, this new beginning is going to be something full of passion, desire, chemistry. Okay, the chemistry. Le monde, it's going to be a whole new world. A whole new world, guys. Wow. I feel like you're finally going to be in an energy where you love yourself because you're not dealing. I feel like this person is a real narcissist. Okay. Éclaireur de Pieux. This is the page of wands. And I'm just feeling like there's going to be some uh, excitement, perhaps, coming into your life. But I can't tell who it is. I'm feeling like, you know, the energy here of um, this... Uh, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like it's an air sign. An air sign. Somebody who's very, very dominant. Very controlling that you dealt with in your past. And I feel like that's why you have so much difficulty letting this person go. I don't know what tower moment happened. But I feel like whatever happened, it happened in a hurry. And it brought a lot of clarity to you. And it made you see that you don't need to stay where you are unhappy. And you can... You know, not be in that energy. I don't know. I feel like I'm just trying to avoid telling you, like, like leave, leave this person. If this is what you're dealing with. Oh, man. That was just really heavy Aries. So this wasn't like the Leo. I just kind of started out like that. But, uh, yeah. 
Let's see what we have for your person's energy. Are you kidding me? I've got the tower. Do 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 do. You've got the tower here and the tower there. Wow. Okay. And we've got the six of swords needing to let go of drama, conflict, energies that no longer serve you. Okay, this person has gone through something heavy, too. The Six of Wands. Well, victory, success, Leo energy. Okay. And we've got the Three of Wands. I've been waiting for someone like you to come into my life. Mm. Are you for real? we got King of Cups here. So this could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, okay, that you're dealing with. Could be a water sign. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so let's clarify these. I'm pretty sure Leo was dealing with water energy, too. Anyway, the tower. Clarify the tower. Why did the tower come out here? For this person's energies. Wow. Queen of Wands. Jeez Louise. This is like uh, the way they see you. Like the classy, beautiful energy you are. And look, you've got two Black Panthers at your feet. Showing that your energies are just so inviting that any living creature just wants to be around you. Just be around and absorb your beautiful, powerful energies. And they feel this. And I feel like that's what the tower is for them. Three of Pentacles. Uh, do you guys work together? Because we've got the Three of Pentacles here. And then we've had the Three of Pentacles here. So kind of getting like some of you guys may work together. And uh, I feel like this person sees you in a way. Los de Pentacle, the Ace of Pentacles. Like they see you in a way that... Uh, they haven't seen you before, perhaps. I mean, this is a new beginning of, uh, of abundance. Could be that you're um, starting a new relationship with this person or you just got a job working there and you just caught this person completely off guard with your energies. They've never met anyone like you. And the chemistry, I feel like, is just uh, on fire. So Six of Swords, uh, King of Pentacles. Uh, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you're dealing with, an Earth sign. Mm, and perhaps this person was married is what I'm getting. Five of Wands. Uh -huh. And I feel like this um, connection they had really went uh, went sideways. It didn't, uh, it didn't end well. Four of Pentacles. It made them really recluse and really pull their energies back and really... Um, Hold on very tight to everything that they have and not wanting to let anybody in. Six of Wands here. Leo energy. You know, I feel like they see this as a blessing in disguise. What happened? The Chariot. Cancer energy. Because the direction their life is going in, it was like going nowhere fast. And uh, they feel like now there's movement. Think things are now moving and progressing. Four of Wands. Uh, they want to celebrate. Oh, gosh. I feel like this person wants to celebrate their freedom. A new beginning. Three of Cups. Are you kidding me? Four of Wands, three cups are both energies of celebrations. Okay. I just see this person being so, so happy that things ended the way they did. Because otherwise, they uh, they would never have found somebody like you. I'll never find another good like you or a guy like you or a person like you. I don't want to offend anyone. So you've got the eight of swords. Yeah, self-imposed prison in your mind. Mm-hmm. I feel like they have uh, they've been uh, lost until they um, saw you. <laughs> it's like you lightened up their life. Ace of Cups. Oh my goodness, this is like a new beginning in love. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're finally letting themselves of that self-imposed prison they've had themselves in, yeah? They're going through a spiritual transformation. And that's Scorpio energy letting that past go and uh, 
opening your eyes to a new beginning. And it could be a water sign you're dealing with, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So let's clarify that King of Cups. And judgment, yep. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. It's daylight swamp. Okay, it's, uh, it's time to wake up. Spiritual awakening, I mean, look at that. It's like finally seeing the light. And I feel like it's this person. They've gone through this spiritual transformation. They're finally seeing things for what they are. And the chemistry, guys, is going to be off the charts. You guys are going to be doing it bunny style, okay? Can't, just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. <laughs> just saying. And we've got the Nine of Swords. Uh, they've had so many sleepless nights, stress, anxiety, okay? I feel like this person has been really wanting uh, somebody to cuddle with in bed because they're afraid that uh, if they're alone for too long, that monster is going to come and uh, take them out of their bed and put them under their bed and uh, take them somewhere really scary. <laughs> Oh, watch too many horror movies, eh? <laughs> what is it, Paranormal Activity, where the girl gets, like, ripped out of her bed and dragged down all those stairs? Oh, uh, gosh. I mean, I know that can't happen, but when you're alone in the dark in your room by yourself, you kind of, uh, your mind starts to go. <laughs> Paranoia. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. So uh, let's uh, see what's going on with uh, you and your person's energies, Aries. Aries and their person's energies. Page of Pentacles. Yep. I feel like this person is going to definitely make their move. Mm-hmm. The devil. Capricorn energy. Hmm. And we have the Ten of Swords. I feel like you guys are finally done with toxic energies. The devil, the Ten of Swords, because Ten of Swords is done, did he done, 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 done. Eight of Pentacles, well, I feel like uh, it's, um, this is an energy of being very focused, and uh, hmm, we're going to see uh, what exactly this uh, what this means. So let's uh, clarify here, and this deck is called the, uh, the Vampire Tarot. Oh my god, I'm sweating and the AC's on. Your reading's making me hot. I might need a cigarette after this, even though I don't smoke. <laughs> People ask me, do you smoke, Jamie? No. I had, like, such a bad cold. Like, a couple of years ago, I lost my voice, and it stayed this raspy, and, uh, and it is what it is, right? Maybe I'm Tina Turner's daughter. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Page of Pentacles. Uh, we're clarifying first. Oh, mon dieu. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. This offer that's coming in is genuine. Okay, this person is very genuine. Mm mm. And look who we have here, the High Priestess, Pisces energy. This is telling you to follow your intuition, uh, go deep within, and let it guide you. It's not there for decor, right? And well, we've got the Nine of Wands. Uh, this is barely holding on, feeling like you've gone through so many battles that uh, love is a, love is a battlefield, right? <laughs> so uh, the devil, you guys have dealt with so many toxic energies. I feel like that's why, you know, you're feeling like you're on your last leg. The devil we're clarifying first. Well, 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 we've got the empress. The brides. So uh, this person, I feel like, is um, regretting things. And I'm feeling like it's this uh, Knight of Swords energy here. The Libra Aquarius Gemini energy. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, my. Oh, me. I feel like they can't. They can't stop thinking about you. They have such regrets. They wish they had treated you better. The death. But they know it's over. Scorpio energy. Wow. I feel like they feel it's done. It's over with. And uh, perhaps they are going through a, a transformation as well. Realizing that this is done. This is over with, right? Ten of Swords. Let's clarify that. Ten of Swords. 
<laughs> the world. Sorry, I had to cover the crotch and the, the nips because, uh, well, they were pretty prominent. So uh, I don't want to get in trouble. So that's why it's uh, censored there on the crotch area. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, this is like a, a whole new world. So Ten of Swords is an ending. Closing that chapter of your lives and beginning a new one together. A whole new world. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Being afraid of being ghosted. Mm, very afraid. I feel like you're still carrying these fears of being ghosted. <laughs> and look who we have. Jonathan the Fool. <laughs> My husband's John, so that's funny. So, And this came out for Leo, too. So uh, the Aquarius energy of the Fool is... Realizing, don't overthink this. Take that leap of faith. If it feels right, if it feels good, go for it. Don't focus on the past, the abandonment. You know, oh, they're going to ghost me or this is going to be too good to be true until the rug gets pulled out from under me. I feel like you're forecasting all these negative outcomes that haven't even happened yet. So get a grip, man. Get a grip. <laughs> Stop, like, forecasting the most negative freaking outcomes if that's what you're doing, because that's what I'm getting. Eight of Pentacles, put your focus somewhere where it's a, of better use. Mm -hmm. The Two of Cups, you breathe me in, I breathe you in. This is two beautiful energies coming together. And the Four of Cups, yeah, you're you're just so used to disappointment. You're like, how long is this going to last, Jamie? Well, it won't last too long with an attitude like that, Aries. Just saying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at the chariot. It's the wagon. <laughs> Choosing a new direction, I feel like, is going to open up so many new doors, okay? Okay. If you, gotta, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again because you're fearing the outcome is going to be negative, well, you're going to create a negative outcome for yourself, right? You may as well just be manifesting negative energies and get on, you know, get on with it. So uh, let's get you guys a soulmate oracle to see uh, what you get there, Aries. I sound like your mother. <laughs> Perhaps maybe somebody needs one right now. Close your eyes, whether you're in a relationship or not. Focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. Okay, I think this is the same one Leo got to. I don't know if I'm making this up or not, but we've got love overcomes all obstacles. A change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around. Trust in love's power. It will transform you and the one you love. All soon will clear. You know, maybe I did too many all signs yesterday, but <laughs> just like, woo! This was like, Close to Leo and then not, yes, and then no, yes, and then no. Wow, I just feel like somebody can't let you go and they have such regrets and somebody new wants to come into your life and you have, you know, so many um, negative experiences when it comes to love that you're just having a hard time believing there's anybody good out there, right? There is. You know, I've married 29 years, okay, this past September. There are good guys out there. We even separated just for our 20th anniversary, got back together. We've been back together in nine years. So, uh, guys, I know some people say, you know, when you break up and you put the garbage to the curb, you look like a, like a garbage picker going back to the curb to grab the garbage you put there to bring it back inside, which is like, you know, what it's like when you uh, allow an ex back in. There are different circumstances for every situation right so never say never is what i say okay so uh let's see what we've got here for a healing oracle for you guys aries are you kidding me transformation and this says uh, it will transform you and the one you love all soon will clear and then you get the transformation Okay, so I'm constantly evolving. I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths. Uh, beautiful. Life ensures I'm presented with situations that will help me learn and grow. Exactly. That's what the Nine of Wands is. 
you've learned and you're growing and don't give up. Okay, so I am aware of my progress and open my wings to the light. I don't want to swing my arms too much because then, you know, my real wings come out. <laughs> Oh, boy. So there you go, Aries. Isn't that fantastic? Love, love, love it. I hope you like my uh, my mild uh, Halloween theme. I've got like the uh, the hand and spider there and the hand and the spider here. This little Charlie, my my dark tree here and uh, my happy Halloween sign in the back. Oh, and I got my dancing uh, dog over here. He's pretty cool. He sings Michael Jackson. I don't want to get a copyright, so I'm just going to make that noise. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, such a pleasure. I always uh, love doing videos for you guys because I love entertaining you guys and myself. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you guys um, in, were entertained, uh, don't forget the thumbs up and share the video with anybody who you feel may need to hear these messages. And uh, hit subscribe if you'd like to see more uploads from uh, the channel. So guys, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are in this world. Aries, I love you guys. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.